New Weapons reports that South Korea has begun testing weapons on the advanced Kai KF-21 Boromé fighter undergoing testing. The second prototype has test-fired a mock-up of the European MBDA Meteor long-range air-to-air guided missile, and the third prototype, numbered 003, has fired its first 100 rounds from the integrated M61A2 Vulcan 20mm cannon. New Weapons Channel recalls that a total of 4 kF 21 flight prototypes, including one two-seat, are currently in testing, having already flown more than 150 flights since July 2022, with two more prototypes due to join them this year. Baykar Group Technical Director Selçuk Bayraktar of Turkey presented photos of the first flight prototype of the new Bayraktar TB3 reconnaissance strike drone. The new vehicle is a development of the already famous Bayraktar TB2 UAV, but is designed primarily for deck-based deployment on Turkey's new L-400 Anadolu multi-purpose landing craft. The Bayraktar TB3 is essentially a slightly larger version of the Bayraktar TB2, and is equipped with elements necessary for a ship deployment, including a folding wing and a braking hook. The takeoff and payload weights of the TB3 are about twice that of the TB2. The first flight of the first Bayraktar TB3 UAV prototype is scheduled for the coming days, and its public presentation will take place at the TEKNOFEST 2023 air show. The Turks also showed the launch of the Rocketson IHA-230 supersonic air-to-surface missile at a distance of 140 km from the Bayraktar Akinci UAV. Akinci, RT-4, the first flight prototype equipped with Pratt & Whitney Canada PT-6 series engines. Shavit-2 military radar reconnaissance satellite OFEQ-13 was launched and successfully placed into orbit from Palmahim Air Force Base in central Israel on March 29. This is Israel's third radar reconnaissance satellite after OFEQ-8 and OFEQ-11. The OFEQ-13 satellite is designed and built by Israel Aerospace Industries, IAI for short. It is supposed to have 50 cm resolution and 10 km swath. It has a mass of 350 kg and orbits the Earth for about 1.5 hours. The Polish Defense Industry Association Polska Grupa Zebrojeniała signed an agreement with the South Korean company Hyundai Rotem to create a consortium for joint production in Poland and supply of K2 place tanks to the Polish Army. The agreement includes a contract to supply Poland with 180 complete K2 tanks in a basic configuration and an agreement for the subsequent production in Poland and South Korea from 2026 of 820 K2 PL tanks modified to Polish requirements. Everything about the U.S. Air Force B-21 Raider stealth bomber can be found here. See you soon.